Now, let's move to the top of our window. Okay. We can see the standard toolbar. Okay, this standard toolbar, some refer to it as the menu bar. Okay, we can access various properties, controls here. Okay, so as you can see, all right. But I'm not going to touch too much about that. Okay, so below the uh, file menu, which is the standard toolbar, we have the control panel. Okay, so the control panel is not here. So if if yours is not here, don't panic. Just go to window. Okay, then you just click on control. So you have the control panel here. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> this control panel is really useful. Okay, as it displays very properties of a particular tool or object you have selected at any given time. Okay. For example. When we select this our drawing on this artwork, you realize that some additions were added up. So it will just give you uh, the full color, the stroke color, then it will give you the straight, the stroke if you, if you want to increase the size of the stroke. Okay, so here you can use it to, to manipulate some of your drawings on the artwork. Okay, so at, actually this control panel works in hand with the toolbox here okay so any tool you pick from here it has its own control panel all right okay now moving on to the right hand side we have another set panel okay which is this one okay this one this panel here are very important when it comes to adobe in your creator as well okay because most of the tools there are very useful so when you click on it you see it will just uh fly out then it will bring out the options in there so all of them okay so in in our next video i will talk more about it and show you how to customize your own workspace here all right okay now if i come below the page here okay the back the very last button here we can see this 150 percent this tells us uh the zoom level that we are having on our screen so when you click and i uh, click on 100 percent you realize that my page have reduced in size okay so is that the zoom tool that you just come and change it here all right so there's nothing more screen that about, about about it but the next one is the artboard navigator Okay, so this this one actually navigates through the artboard. So now we have two artboard. So if we are to select any one of them, okay, see what's happening. You see, we have the two artboard big enough for us to work on 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 it. Same way, if we choose the set the first one, we will have our artboard and our drawing on it as well. Okay, so next i want to touch on the document tabs okay so see currently we have this document tab open and if we look carefully at the top left corner okay just under the control panel we will have a tab that shows a document name okay so the name of my document is basics okay so now let's create one tab let's create a new document so we create it this one you not go through so we just click create so you can see that now we have two tabs here okay so that's what we refer as document tabs in adobe illustrator okay so i'm going to close this one because i just don't need it so i'll just keep the time speed here and close it now the last thing i want to talk about here is the canvas area okay when you create a new document you will have a white area which represents your artboard size okay so this white area we are seeing here that's our artboard all right so when you create a new document your main artboard is going to look going to be white okay so now 
when you create a new document, you will have a white area which represents your artboard size and a green area around the canvas. Okay, so as you can see, we have two artboards here. Okay, sitting on the gray area. So when you talk of the gray area, all this area are the gray area. Okay, all the dark side you can see are the gray area. Okay, the gray area here is called the pasteboard. Okay, so in Adobe Illustrator, this gray space you are seeing there is called a pasteboard. Okay, and for that one, we can put any artwork we don't want to include in our main composition. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Let's take the text tool. Okay, let's click. And later we realize that, oh, uh, we don't need the text yet, but we will need it in our design. Okay, so instead of you uh, deleting it, you just drag it on the paste board. So automatically, it's not part of our main composition here. Okay, so that's what I mean. All, 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 all right. So, guys, I hope you have learned a lot. You have now understand the interface of Illustrator. And as you keep doing, you will be more you you will have more understanding and you know how to work design a very beautiful artworks in, in illustrator